Hello there again, it's me Benjamin Peck. Sorry I've been away for quite a long time, but uh, I've got a package today which I wish to share with you, and it is this. Sorry about the light, but it's a model kit I've never done before. It's Black Dog Women Hunters Cyborg Set. Now, here we go with the grand opening. Now I've not seen these yet, but of course the front gives you a bit of a indication of what they're basically like. So, oh, a few packing things, but nothing else in there. So there's the box, basically, you know, very nice illustration on the front, as you can tell. And there we go. Right. Here we go, two packages. This one is the lady sitting down, obviously, because of the oil can. And this one of the other cyborg standing up. And since I've got this, we'll do this one first. So here we go. Now, uh, I've been told that Black Dog do very, very good clean castings and they don't disappoint with this. Uh, as you can tell, there's a little bit, a little bit of flash to go on the top upper thigh here, but uh, otherwise, it's not all that bad to be quite honest. It's not all that bad. Now yeah, you got a little bit of flash here as well. On I think that's the upper armour. Maybe a little bit on this other arm top here. And yes, it's going to be a complete git, part of my language, to try and get this lunk off the feet, because the feet are so delicate. But I don't think it'll be impossible. Well, that's the body done. Get that out of the way. Now this is the left arm. Here we go. Not too badly cast. I don't know if you can pick this up. I can't get much closer because it's a bit painful. But it's not too badly cast. I especially like the way that they've done most of the rivet bolts. I don't know whether that's meant to be part of the design there, those two little holes. But um, if it isn't there, it's easily fillable. I think they are. Probably a bit of the gauntlet, but yeah, it's not too bad. I'm pretty sure that that's meant to be holding on to something. <laughs> Now, we've got this bit, which I think <coughs> is the head and spine of maybe some sort of skull. Let's wait till the camera decides to play fair. Maybe bring it back a bit. There we are. Uh, it seems to be some sort of head or skull or maybe body. I don't know. I don't really know what that's meant to be. But whatever it is, it's nicely cast. Well, I'll be using it. Possibly. Possibly. <laughs> like I say, I don't know what it is, but it looks nice. It looks nice. And here is the head. There we go. Very nice cast. There's a bit of flash. Just a tiny bits of flash. I would have preferred hair, but there you go. It's being a cyborg, uh, I suppose that's what you expect. So, yeah, that's nice. Very nicely done. I think that's a little bit of flash just behind the ear there, if you can just see that. Uh, yeah, it's nice. It's well done. Very well done. And here's the gun and the right arm. I think this is the human arm. <clears throat> Pardon me. Yeah, there's the human arm. As you can see, there's a bit of a mould seam right going right down the end. Uh, gun is a little bit disappointing. But I've got a, one, a few 135 scale models. As you can see, there's the sort of, uh, I don't know what they call that, trim going and a bit of a seam line down there. 
I don't know what the gun is, but I've got some replacement guns. I might replace that hand and put in a slightly larger, more powerful looking gun. But yeah, I don't know what, uh, I don't know if you can see that gun properly at this close, but it does, it's a bit disappointing. Well, that's the standing one done. Now, we will do the other one, which is sitting down. Uh, just adjust where I'm sitting. Right, uh, here we are. Now, first thing, we do the figure. Now, as you can see, the figure is practically three quarters of the way um, molded. It's nicely moulded all over. I especially like the armour. Really do like the armour. I'm not sure if this is meant to be the hunter or a cyborg, but either which way, that is extremely well cast. And the head, if I can just get it in here, is nicely done. <coughs> Sorry about that cough, my son's not well. There we are. Uh, oil barrel, nothing really much to write home about. Just a few seam lines to clean up. And essentially it on that. Now, this is just a lug that's come off. <laughs> and this is what's come off it, I suppose. The top of the gun and a hand. The right hand there. It's got some nice gauntlets again. So yeah, that's not too bad. Now I'm again I don't know what this is meant to be. It could be a backpack, some sort of armor, maybe even I don't know, cyborg face, something like that. I don't know. But it's mould on for both sides. There's a tiny bit of resin flash there. There's my daughter. Wanted to get in the act as well. I mean, this could even be a bionic tortoise for all I know. <laughs> but yes, yeah, whatever this is, it's nicely moulded. It's, it's very well done. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but there we are. And. Here's the left hand and arm. Again, nicely done, nicely done gauntlet. It's uh, pretty nicely moulded, this lot. Now, I'm not too sure whether this is from a, a previously available metal kit, but I don't know, being Black Dog, I, I doubt it, because they do seem to specialise in resin kits. Here's the lower part of the gun or sniper rifle or whatever you want to call it it seems very nicely molded and quite a lot I, I would imagine that this would probably be if you're in real life at least five foot tall I mean the scope alone is worth a prize of course, there's bits and pieces to clean up on that, but it's not too hard to do. Like I say, it's a pretty, fairly clean moulding. Fairly clean moulding, to be quite honest. Got three scopes. And last but not least is the business end of the gun. Which is just basically this. Nicely done. I even like the fact that they put the two holes in the end there but yeah all in all i'm looking forward to building these two whether i put them in the same diorama or not i do not know i probably will but uh as it goes at 135 scale they are both more or less the same i'll uh, just rearrange that so it's a bit clearer there we go you know, and uh, yeah, it's it's not. I don't think it's going to be too much of a hassle to get these things done. Uh, 
whether they're meant to be both cyborgs, but I believe this one would, is purely humanoid. Human, I mean, and this one has cybernetic elements to it. So, yeah, as I can say, looking forward to these two. Well, that's me off for this one. I'll soon be back with another model kit, which I'm going to review as soon as it gets here, which hopefully wouldn't be that long. And it's my model kit I've been wanting to get hold of for a while, and I will be building that as soon as I get it. So, yeah, that's all for now. So, uh, TTFN.